What's up, YouTube? It is Melanie back with Melanie Loves Death Metal, and I've got another collection update today. Uh, it's been about a week, I think, since I last uploaded something. So uh been kind of a crazy week for me. Uh, work has been insane. I uh, just haven't had any time to record, but it is Friday, so happy Friday. And I've got some time in between my workday to do this today. So um, next week, I'm hopefully going to be bringing back a couple more videos. I should have a fairly easier week next week and be able to record some stuff. So, But in the meantime, I've been getting a lot of stuff in the mail, finally. A lot of stuff I've been waiting on for a while. Um the delays are pretty much just a killer, as everybody knows, but a lot of stuff is finally starting to come in. Some stuff that I've had ordered for a really long time, including the first thing I'm about to show you. Uh, and I'm finally getting it all, so it's been fun mail days again, um, and it looks like it might be dying down for the next couple of weeks now. I think I have like one or two more packages left out, out in the wild, and then after that, I haven't had ordered anything. I don't have anything coming for months now, so that's going to be weird. Um, so to make up for the lack of collection updates, I am probably going to start doing some backfilling in my collection. That's generally what I do towards the end of the year because, you know, new releases, they start to slow down. Um, and there's a lot of things that I probably missed this year. So I always do this like I'm going to go back and see what was released this year that I maybe maybe haven't heard yet or wanted to buy and then never got it. So um, but we'll see. But I am going to try and bring back a couple of other video ideas on here that I have, um, some reviews and a couple of other things. So I just need to find time to record it. So, but a lot of things coming, just uh, bear with me. Um, unfortunately, this is not my full-time job. Uh, I wish I had more time to do it, but uh, it's just impossible at the moment. So let's go ahead and get started. I have a ton of tapes and then a couple of vinyl, four vinyl and and then I will save the rest for another collection update. So this is not everything that I've gotten in the last two weeks, but it's almost everything. So we'll get started with the tapes first. First up, band out of Florida. So we've got some Florida technical death metal. Um, release on Sewer Rot Records this year. It is an EP and it is Charnel Grounds. So awful, awful glare. You know, I should just know better. Should just do what Ken does on his and just take him out of the cases and not deal with that bullshit. Uh, so anyway, Charnel Grounds with Molecular Entropy examined in the bowels of a great one. That is quite the album name. Um, this is their second EP uh, and Sewer Rot put this out earlier this year. I would say over the summer is when this uh, was announced and put up for pre-order. Uh, lyrics on the other side. And it finally came in. So... There you go. That's one of the releases I've been waiting on. So Charnel Grounds, like I said, this is their second EP. They only have two EPs out. Um, I think I'm saying your name right. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it. Um, uh, this is technical death metal. Fantastic technical death metal. Really, really, really good. Just like calling that out right now. But it's got a little bit more of a raw sound to it. The vocals are remind me a similar version of raw black metal where it's very... Not lo-fi sounding, but very um, hidden within the mix. The, the music it is the main, the main aspect of it. Whereas the vocals are not as not as demanding on here. But it is very good. I love this. This is probably one of my favorite releases that they put out this year. Um, and I was really excited to get this. So I actually wish I had gotten this on CD as well. Um, because I like the fact that my my brand new 2021 car has a CD player in it, which I think is incredible. So I've been having fun popping CDs in that car. So, um, But I got the Bandcamp download, so I can still listen to it in the car. But it comes on this really cool red tape. Um, and yeah, Surat, you guys know I love Surat. I've talked about them several times. So check this out if you haven't yet. Um, I think these, for the most part, these are probably sold out, as is... Pretty much all of their releases happen to be, <laughs> I think they might have like one or two that still haven't sold out yet. Uh, but for the most part, they go pretty quick um, and are pretty limited. So, um, all right. So that's the first one. So definitely check that out. It's fantastic. Um, like I said, they released it on CD. They released it on tape. I'm pretty sure it's sold out. I'm, I might be wrong. I will link it in the description as always. Um, the next one is this drops today and i thought about doing a video specifically just on this album and then i thought you know in all honesty i wrote a really you know a pretty decent i wouldn't say it's a review but i pretty much you know talked about it on my instagram and i just feel like everybody else is going to probably talk about this album for the next whenever uh so i'll just do it here um but this is the new 200 stab wounds uh on maggot stomp it is slave to the scalpel this is their first full-length release 
uh, and it actually comes out today. So the cool thing about Magasomp this time around is that they had these in stock before release date, which was nice because that's something that's just not going to happen for the next several, maybe even a year, just to be honest with you, with all these shitty delays that are going on. Um, so I actually got this a week ago um, and I listened to it. I listened to it every single day since I've gotten it. Just going to be honest with you. Uh, so I'm happy that I finally have the digital release today now. Um, it's a really nice card stock, J card, and then lyrics on the other side. So 200 stab wounds. Let's talk about this. Um, they are a fairly, I guess you could say, hyped band out of Cleveland, Ohio. So Cleveland death metal, again, really, really starting to amp up their scene over there. They've got a lot of great bands. Um, this is their first full length. They came out with an EP last year on Magasomp. That was incredible. I absolutely loved it to the point of where I bought it on every single format. I have it on vinyl, I have it on CD, and I have it on tape. Um, and I've sold on my distro several copies of it too every time it gets in stock i usually try to get some because people just they go ape shit for this band uh oh, by the way that's, that's just the tape it's just a nice little smoky tinted one so this band i would honestly say based off of their ep from last year in this full length this year this is leaps and bounds just fantastic progression that this band has made it is not that knuckle dragging cave man riff death metal that you might assume it is because it's on Magasop and they do put out quite a bit of releases like that it's not uh they are they've got it's just not like it, it's different i don't know how to, how to explain it it's death metal obviously but it, they've got a different style to it the vocal style is a little bit different um it just it's very it's a very good album i i had I did not have any really expectations going into it. I tried not to hype it up too much for myself. I saw a lot of hype on it. Obviously, I follow them on social media. A lot of people are consistently talking about them. They've been touring and doing these great shows lately, especially with some fantastic bands. And like people are just in love with this band right now. And I think it's definitely, it's definitely, they deserve that. It's a great album. I really enjoy it. Um, and I was really happy when i listen to this it's a quick listen to like it, it's not anything crazy it's not like an hour long record as you know i don't think you expected it to be but uh it is really good um and some people probably think that they're overhyped that oh they're not like it's nothing new and stuff like that don't listen to them listen to it to yourself make your own decision on that i think it's fantastic and like i said i was pleasantly surprised by it i i i didn't have this these super high pedestal expectations coming into it i tried to keep a relatively even balanced thoughts on it uh the first single that i heard i was like all right sounds like 200 stab wounds we'll see where this goes the whole album it goes really well together it is really good so i've actually really enjoyed it i'm i'm excited i'm gonna probably get some more copies of this because i again i just want to support the band these guys these guys are a lot of fun uh younger guys um just really bringing that that fun new wave of death metal uh, to the scene. So check this out if you haven't yet. Um, and I just, again, they've got a lot of hate for no fucking reason. I don't understand it at all. Like Chris Barnes even get out, got in on it, on it a couple months ago. Like just ridiculous. So I don't understand it at all. Whatever. They, they haven't done anything to deserve it. So just listen to it. So... Anyway, moving on. The next one I have is another uh, tape. Actually, this relatively came pretty quick. So this is probably one of the few tapes that I got pretty quick after pre-ordering it. So that that was nice. But again, I'm not expecting it to continue on that way. So another re release from Total Dissonance Warship. Uh, this is the Vitriol EP that they repressed recently. Um, comes on this awesome, uh, with this awesome slipcover. You know, they always do those, those really great... Um, quality tape repressings uh limited to 100 i have 30 out of 100 right there it's, it's hand numbered and then obviously it pops out there's the cover it's got a purple case and then tape is purple and then the j card is pretty simple uh just a one panel on the other side there you go. So Vitriol, band out of uh, Portland, amazing band. Their last album that I showed on here relatively recently is incredible. Fun, fun band to see live. Um, they are touring with Dying Fetus right now. Um, I actually was supposed to go to that show a couple weeks ago when they came here in Tampa. However, um, 
my unfortunately not unfortunately when you have kids they've got stuff going on there was something that happened that night i wasn't able to go i was able to give my ticket away to somebody that could go uh, but my son is doing a bunch of competitions and stuff like that and he had a thing that night that i had to go to so that took priority unfortunately so i wasn't able to see that show but i'm hoping that i can catch dying fetus and in vitriol live again some other day some other time um i've seen dying fetus live a long time ago but i've never seen vitriol so i, I really hope i can someday but fortunately that's what happens uh when you know sometimes life just gotta take priority um so anyway this is this is a really good EP. This is our first EP that was dropped um, back in 2013, I think. Um, really nice quality. I love that little pupper. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, I had to snag it. I like I said, I told this in Warship. Um, they put out awesome releases. You should definitely check them out. A lot of lot of great repressing this that, that they do, um, and then some stuff that I've never heard of and I've I've bought um, and always have really enjoyed everything I've gotten from there. So um, I think those souls are sold out, but they did just announce vinyl pressings of that. So if you're familiar with this EP and you want it on a format, go over there. They still have copies. They announced that like two or three days ago. So all right, moving on. Uh, one that I've shown on here already, but I bought it anyway. I saw it was available. I don't need it. <laughs> I already own it on two other copies, um, but I wanted to help a friend out. So Bryce, aka Crypt Keepers on Instagram, makes uh, awesome tape racks. Like out of like he handcrafts them. So if you're looking for something like that, shoot him a message and, and get into the queue and get that um, going. He has one that he's currently working on for me right now. I'm super excited. I cannot wait to get it. It's been months and I'm excited to get it. But he also is starting up a distro of his own and he got a big shipment in from Hostel Records and this was in there. And I actually have been eyeing this particular copy for months and months and months. And the only reason why I never got it is because Hostel Records is an Asian um, label and distro and the shipping is ridiculous. So Run by Mooks. I'm sure if everybody is familiar, they know who he is. Anyway, absolutely love Mooks. I love Bryce. So I saw that he had this and I, I instantly messaged him. It's like, I will take a copy. It ended up being his first distro um, sale. So that kind of was cool. So anyway, this is Soul Devourments with their Eternal Perdition EP. Uh, again, I've showed this on here a hundred times. If you're not familiar with Soul Devourment, please get familiar with them. This is an incredible band. They were on Ken's Death Metal Crypt a while ago. Um, Frank in this band is also a co-owner um, of Sewer Route Records, so you know, connections all over the place. But a band is out of um, California, uh, and just a really good band. So Hostel Records put out their own version of this, so it's a really cool white tape. And then I got I really like I like how it's it's white and off colored from what uh, has been released previously. I have the, the a blue version of it, so yeah. Again, I didn't need it, but I just wanted to throw some support out there. So I would pretty cool to have in my collection um and again i love hostile records so i had to try to do help out a friend and then also get that in my collection so again i don't think i really need to talk too much about this i've talked about this band a thousand times on here um good stuff they're working on new stuff right now so i'm excited for that i hopefully will get a new album soon uh but yeah if you haven't yet check this out and um i will also link you bryce's information as well because He's got some other stuff still for sale that you should check out. So next thing I have is um, one of my friends, Paul, who I've met through Instagram, call him the grind lord. He's just really into grindcore. It's like his favorite thing in the world. Um, sent me uh, a link a while back. I asked him like, hey, like, what's a place I can go and listen to some new, like find some good grind records, some add some more into my collection. So he sent me death by digital and I noticed that they had this for sale and I snagged it as soon as I saw it because I, I don't have any of their stuff in my collection. And this is definitely one of the best or if not the best grind core bands, I guess that's up for a debate. Uh, so anyway, Nazem with songs of regressive hostility. So, um, this is not the original case that came in. Unfortunately, the post office was an asshole and they just, just stomped on it, like just stomped on it and destroyed this awesome green case, like fluorescent green case that it came in. It looked awesome, but um, yeah, that got destroyed. But the tape did not. Uh, so the tape is in perfect condition and the J card was ended up being in good condition. So I don't know how that happened. Just the case was just shattered. Uh, so 
there you go. I don't think I do. I need to even talk about this. I'm sure everybody who's familiar with grindcore or just in general know who this band is. So I guess a little bit of a backstory. Uh, these are songs on here that essentially were on a split a long time ago that he sent that were put on an actual like literally like a green tape, like dubbed into a green tape and were handed over. And then it eventually led to getting them uh, a record deal of relapse, I think. That's the correct story. Anyway, they reached out to uh, Death by Digital and they did a repressing of this uh, just because they something hadn't been released in such a long time. So good stuff. And it's got 16 songs on it. I think you can imagine how long those are if you're familiar with Grindcore. So pretty cool little um, collection or addition to the collection there. I do want to get some of their other stuff too. Um, but for now, I have this, so and I think they still have these for sale. So I'll link them if you're looking for this. Uh, came really pretty quick too, so I was excited. I ordered that and I got it like a week later, so that was cool. So, all right, moving on. Um, I feel like I'm flying through things, but I, I have a few more to get through, and I don't want to upload like an hour long video. So, next one is uh, just one of my favorite releases this year. Uh, it's only an EP. It's only three songs. So, but super fun. I really enjoyed it. I was excited to get this, um, and I'm glad that they were put out on this label who I've talked about 10,000 times on here, so don't be surprised by this. But this is the new Mutilation Barbecue that was put out on Gurgling Gore. Um, and yeah, look at that <laughs> album artwork. Uh, so if you're not familiar with Mutilation Barbecue, they're another Cleveland, Ohio death metal band. Um, and this is their only release, as far as I know. Uh, this is the only music I've ever heard by them. Three songs. Uh, Gurgling Gore put this out. Really, you know, high quality stuff that they always do. Uh, and this is just a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. And it's really good. You should definitely check it out. Uh, like I said, it's only three songs. Just an EP. But I love the artwork. Um, and I was excited about this. Uh, so backstory on how I know who this band was. I, I posted something on Instagram a while ago and I noticed that they like just randomly started following me. They liked my stuff. So then I went over to their Instagram. I looked and I listened to whatever uh, link they had. It might have been a band camp link. I listened to the music and I was like, oh, this is pretty good. Hopefully they release something soon because it didn't look like there was any physicals out. And then like two months, three months later, Girdling Gore's like, here you go. I'm releasing it. So I thought that was kind of funny. Um, so that ended up working out well. So I think for the most part, these are sold out as is usually that's the case with gurgling gore um i feel like scum lord might have gotten some of these there's probably other districts that might have gotten a few copies um but yeah if you're on the hunt i'm sure it's out there i think meteor gem might have gotten a few of these copies i don't know but also cool meteor gem that you're getting gurgling gore releases that made me happy because um sometime there's going to be a day where i don't get something when it drops and i'm going to need to get it somewhere else so um but yeah Check this out. Uh, it is really, really good. I, I really enjoyed it. It's fun. And I just, you know, the artwork is fantastic. thought it was hilarious. So good stuff. Um, all right. And the final tape that I have is one that I've been really excited about getting. Um, and I hope that everybody goes and gives this all the support in the world um, because it absolutely deserves it. So this comes all the way from Brutal Cave Productions. So it took a little bit of a while to get here uh, to me. Uh, shipping wasn't bad in terms of cost, uh, which is the only reason why um, I even considered. I, I, you know, actually that wasn't even an issue at all. I, I knew it was going to take some time to get to me, probably um, a while. I don't know how long it took to get to me, but shipping was actually decent and stuff like that. So, and I just wanted to, again, throw support out there again, because I am eternally grateful for this man. Uh, and this is the body science or body asphyxiation science, uh, their newest EP that was just put out. Um, it's called Space Adaptation Syndrome. Um, and if you're not familiar, this is Joss Allen's band that he recently uh, just dropped this music. Um, and it is currently out right now. So Brutal Cave is the only place I've seen it right now. I think there's also CDs, um, but I got the tape um, and it finally came in. So Joss Allen is the man that wrote my intro song uh, for my YouTube channel. He also is a phenomenal guitarist. He has his own YouTube channel. You should definitely check it out. He does guitar videos and collection updates and several different things on there. It is a great channel. He also is a signature artist for Vola Guitars and he has an awesome signature guitar. Uh, so yeah, forever grateful. Um, this is his newest uh, EP that just dropped for his band uh, and it is very good. It's three songs. It is very 
rem remnants of of a little bit of blood incantation. It's got that spacey atmospheric theme to it, but it is very good. Um, and I was really excited to get this. So the tape is really cool. Has the all over logo, and then on the other side, there you go. So this is really good. Um, and I've been sharing this with everybody as much as possible over the last several uh, weeks or month or so since it's been released. Uh, the J card is really nice too. So yep, there you go. So there are two piece and there you go on the other side. Pretty simple. So really nice. Although you can also see that it has the, there you go. What well, he's pretty much sponsored by. So really good stuff. Um, so congrats guys on the release. Um, I was really excited about this. Um, and it's really good. I've listened to it several times. Uh, and thankfully I got it through Bandcamp. So I also have digital downloads. So I've been listening to it into my car and this is one of those things that I've been listening to all the time. So, um, and I've had the digital downloads for a while, but I finally got the tape in last week or actually this week. It was like Monday or something like that. So yeah, it took a while to get to me, but, um, these are floating around uh, elsewhere. I've seen uh, a lot of people talking about this already. So it's worth it. Definitely check it out. Um, it is very good. I really, really enjoy this. So I'm excited. Um, can't wait to hear more stuff that these guys put out. Um, very, very talented musicians right there. So that is it for the tapes. Uh, and we'll move on to the vinyl. Um, my desk is a, a disaster of things because I just got a bunch of new stuff in for my distro and I'm going through and cataloging it all and putting it into the system and doing all that stuff. And it takes forever because I'm the only person doing it. So I've got some stuff back there that I still have to go through. But anyway, all right. First vinyl, one that I've been waiting for forever. It got delayed and it finally got in. I forgot to unsleeve. I'm sorry. Uh, a very divisive album. And we'll talk about why. This is the new Rivers of Nile with the work. Uh, so this is their, how many albums do they have out now? Their fourth full length album. So Band Out of Pennsylvania, Technical Death Metal. But this album is proggy as fuck. There you go. I absolutely love this album. I absolutely love it. So many people have either hated it or they're like, yeah, it's just okay. It's it's whatever. It's not my favorite. Or they absolutely love it. I am that person that absolutely loves it. Um, so artwork is by Dan Seagrave. So cool artwork there. Um, and out on Metal Blade Records. So this was heavily delayed, uh, as always. And finally get in. People are starting to finally get them. I think the, the Europe copies were released first because I saw a lot of people on Instagram already showing them off. But U.S. copies are starting to finally come. Uh, the color whatever it wasn't that big of a fan of the color option but that's not what matters it's like this just blue and white marbled double lp and i absolutely love this album i'm not even going to deny it um i love prog metal i always have um i think it's it's just fantastic the way that this band has progressed uh with their music the the saxophone is back um it is, it's it's not very like it's only in a couple of songs, but just the clean vocals are incredible. I don't know. People say it's a boring album. They don't like it. It's divisive. It's not heavy enough. It's not, it's not this, it's not that. But for me, I like when bands, they do this. They I like when they, they progress and they move into a sound that they particularly want. It's not the same thing over and over again. And for me, who really loves prog metal, progressive death metal, whatever the hell you want to call it, I really enjoyed this album and this is probably going to be one of my favorite albums to come out this year um if not the favorite album i'm not sure yet but very very good um and i've listened to it a ton like you would not believe um so i just yeah it's really good album it's different i'm going to tell you that right now like if you haven't listened to it yet this is gonna this is gonna shock you a little bit because it is quite different um there are still some heavy elements in there obviously the Rivers of Nile sound is definitely there, but there's other songs where it's just slow cleans. It's no growls, no death metal sounds. And then there's some like, you know, proggier songs, um, but very good album. In my opinion, some people are going to totally disagree with me. And, and I, like I said, it's, it's somehow has turned into a very divisive album this year um, for that reason. So again, if you haven't heard it yet, check it out. I'd be interested to know what you guys think. I'm sure I'll get some lovely comments about that. Um, but really excited that I finally got that. Um, another one that I think you might be surprised seeing on here, but I'm going to do 
another video on this, but I'm going to show it in here. Uh, this is the new Whitechapel with Kin, uh, another Metal Blade release. This was also delayed, but it finally came in. Um, and this is their eighth album, Deathcore Band out of Tennessee. So let me just say something really quick. This is one of the few Deathcore bands that I absolutely adore. Absolutely adore. Um, I have a few others that I'm planning to do something with on this channel and talk a little bit more about. But this is the one that I've been a fan of ever since their conception. I have all of their albums, seen them live several times. I've followed them through everything that they've ever done. So I guess you could say I'm, 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 a, I'm, a, I'm a fan. <laughs> um, they released The Valley uh, a couple two years ago, um, and I absolutely loved that album. I thought it was fantastic. It was one of my favorite albums. It is still one of my favorite albums to this day. I listen, still listen to it all the time. This is pretty much uh, a continuation of that, from what I understand. Phil was on Rob Flynn's uh, podcast a couple of months ago, or like a month or two ago, uh, promoting this album and talking about it. And if you're not familiar with The Valley, it is very heavily on his childhood growing up and how he lost his mother to drugs and his father. And and just, he's just got a really, it's a really tough upbringing and just he went through a lot. And so these two albums are essentially uh, that. Um, this album is so good. And I, again, tried not to hold it to a higher pedestal, tried not to have like super high expectations when the soul the single lost boy came out i wasn't like totally sold but also felt like it needed to be heard with the rest of the album and that's exactly what that's exactly what so there are a couple things about this album that i absolutely love and one of them is just the amazing of course my dog starts barking at him <laughs> um the amazing vocals amazing vocals that phil has on here like he really shows off his voice on this album when it comes to his obviously his growls are, are great but he has an incredible singing voice as well and he he definitely shows that on here so uh just because people care about this stuff i got the blue black splatter i don't know if there were any other copies of this or other other versions of this but that this is just the one that i got through metal blade it's a double lp Nothing else really to show. Um, pretty pretty standard, basic pressing, but it is very nice quality, I will say that. Um, so, uh, fantastic album. I was pleasantly surprised and really excited. I actually think I like this better than The Valley. Uh, so, there you go. Another band that I've absolutely adored with what they're doing with their sound and their progression and what they, they've... It's just not... It's not your standard Blast Beats deathcore album. Like, they have progressed in their sound. They are turning into a general just you know really great death metal metal band um and i really love this album so we'll talk more about it in another video i'll get to it i'll i'll just discuss more we've got a whole new idea when it comes to stuff like that so anyway moving on uh another album that actually this pre-order didn't take too long so this is probably one of the ones that was able to avoid the delays. So that was pretty cool. Uh, this is the new Creeping Death EP, Texas Death Metalers. Uh, their, la their last album that came out like two years ago is fantastic. This is their newest EP. Um, it is called uh, Edge of Existence. And this is really good. Um, and it makes me excited. Like if this is what they're moving into in terms of, of songwriting and material, their new album that, that they eventually release is gonna be fantastic. I really enjoy this, and that artwork is awesome. So this band is so good. Um, just I and I, I actually realized I, I don't have their first album on vinyl. I have it on CD, but I've never been able to find a copy of it on vinyl. So that is the next thing that I'm going to do. I love this color variant. The the hazy blob uh, variants are starting to become one of my favorites. So I snagged this. There was a bunch of other variants that they put out, but this is the one that I got. Um, there you go. This is fantastic. So definitely, if you have not heard it yet, check it out. Um, it's an EP, so it's only five songs, but it is really, really good. Um, and then on the back, it says it is dedicated to Riley Gale and Wade Allison. So if you're not familiar with who those people are, you should Google it. Uh, but they recently, yeah, Riley, incredible, incredible, sad thing. Um, but yeah, anyway, Creeping Death. This was a really good EP, and I'm excited that I finally have this. Um, 
That didn't take too long to come, though. So uh, they're everywhere. So you can find them everywhere. I don't think they've sold out. They've pressed a million different color variants. And I'm sure you can find it if you're still looking for it. Um, and then finally, I saved probably the favorite for last uh, because this album just blew me away. Like, I, again, did not expect to have another favorite album to come out. And it's just as high up there now. <laughs> um, and this is the new Arc Spire. Uh, with Bleed the Future. Uh, so out on Season of Mist, extreme technical death metal. Uh, this is just a plain black copy, so I'm not even going to pull it out of the, the poly bag. Um, and this is a phenomenal record. My God, these guys are so fun. Uh, if you're not familiar with Arcspire, which I do have a couple of other releases, but um, I've never talked about them on here. They're a Canadian band, technical death metal, uh, phenomenal technical death metal. So this album is very good. And I'm sure people have probably seen this around and people have been talking about it. Um, but I finally listened to it after just seeing so many people talking about it and hyping about it and, and talking about how great it is and reading the reviews and seeing the YouTube videos on it. And so I finally sat down and listened to it a couple of weeks ago. And I was like, Jesus, where did this come from? Because I like their other stuff, but this album is just leaps and bounds so much better than what they've put out in the past. And it is such a good album. Um, and I am a person that can be a little bit picky about my technical death metal. Um, sometimes it gets a little bit too, um, what's the word? much to listen to i guess you could say is that is that what i'm trying to say here i was going to say it sometimes it rapes my ears too much but that was just was not a really good expression to use people might get angry about that but anyway um really great album fun this band is hilarious i just they're just so fun and it, it, it's just it's an easy listen and when it's over i just turn it back over and listen to it again uh because i've listened to this so many times so uh when i went to go buy it of course it was sold out everywhere literally everywhere could not find it anywhere so that was me being pissed off myself for taking forever to finally listen to something but then of course meteor gem got it in stock so i snagged it and i think they have a few more copies left i noticed that they got some new color ones in this week too so if you're looking for this go over there they probably still have some but i am happy that i finally have it uh it's definitely one of the best releases to come out this year and it's going to be high on everybody's uh year-end lists um and it is definitely worth Worth the praise. Uh, this album is so good. I just actually do I need to show you anything else? I'm trying to think if there's anything else that came with this. No, just you know, regular gatefold lyrics. I don't think there's any poster or anything. No. So yeah, typical season of miss uh, gatefold press. So really nice, glossy. Yeah. So anyway, very good. And I am going to go put this on right now because that is all that I have to show you guys. Uh, next week, I'm hoping to have a lot more videos up this next week. I do have a Black Metal Monday coming up. I did buy a bunch of more stuff. <laughs> so I did get those in because it wasn't anything that was up for pre-order or anything like that. Uh, and then I also have a few other ideas. I'm conspiring with somebody else uh, to get some more content on this channel. Um, and hopefully, hopefully I can get those recorded. Um, and... You won't just be seeing me talk about stuff I got into my collection. So thank you guys for all the support uh, and have a great week.